yesterday I have another standalone book review for you. I thought I would sneak another one in before the year is out because this one is coming out today as you are watching this. Um, this title does have the F word in the title but I'm going to try and refer to it as just the F word as we go through the video uh, just for your benefit. <laughs> Welcome back, or if you are new here, welcome. My name is Katrina and I make bookish content here on this channel at least twice a week. And then movie reviews or book to movie content generally at the weekend, even though I did just make a book versus movie for you here, but it was a little bit on the different side. Um, today I am going to be talking about Confessions of a 40 something F up by Alexandra Potter, which the Kindle book came out at the very end of November and then the audiobook came out on Boxing Day and everything is finally out today. Um, in the description box you will of course find all of my social media links because I have been talking about this book in previous vlogs as well as over on my Instagram and posting updates on Goodreads as well and if written reviews are more your thing I do have a written review of this one on my blog which is linked below. So this book features Nell and Nell has just flown back to the UK from having split up with her fiance who she was living with in LA. She's been in the US for like six years. I think she did half it in New York and half it in LA and she is now just returned back to the UK. So um, although I am not quite yet a 40 something, I could definitely relate to a lot of this and got a lot of the feelings of like, what's it going to be like when I return back to the UK after having been in the US for basically five years. Um, so there was a lot of similarities between Nell and myself, um, although uh, I, I also know what it's like to split up with a fiance, I've done that too. Um, and so I just could relate to this book from the word go. Um, and I think so much of Nell's character and Nell's life experience, you will either be able to sympathize or empathize with as you are reading this one. And it's one of these that I just kind of related to her right from the word go. And it's one of those books where everything that you are kind of like thinking in your head, whether it's about other people, about your life, about yourself, she just basically says it out loud and it's here on the page for you there. Um, she does uh, some journaling and basically turns that into a bit of a podcast. This is one of the other things that I really, really loved about this book. I love when authors feature non-traditional media in their books. So um, I've been reading a couple of things recently about like Insta mums and YouTube stars and things like that. And I really appreciate when that is in a book. I don't like when authors shy away from it because the technology dates. I like when they feature it because it kind of like puts you in history. It's like you'd be able to read this in, you know, a couple of decades time and you'll be like oh it reads like historical fiction because this was all the rage back then in terms of technology like when we read historical fiction now and people have really like clunky cell phones at the beginning of the 90s and things like that and um you know actually reading actual historical fiction where you had to go in a horse and cart places and so i love the fact that we have some non-traditional media in there and this is an amazing outlet for nell as well the wonderful thing about Nell as a character is that she is a writer and so her kind of thoughts in her journal that translate into her thoughts on her podcast are incredibly well written and structured and thought out and she has some um, hashtags in there that are very funny and then she lists things that she's grateful for at the end of each journal entry or podcast and so we get to kind of hear those as well and some of those just made me laugh out loud. Um, the other kind of side of non-traditional media as well is the fact that this this book deals with the FOMO that we have when we see friends um, that we've had for some time on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. And we see their little painted family lives or their amazing holidays or their new house that they've somehow managed to afford in outer London somewhere. Um, and it really, really deals with that and it deals with that very well. And we get to see that through Nell, but actually it's basically what we're all thinking anyway. Um, and it deals with kind of, yeah, the side of Instagram and the fact that people will spend money to have that like Instagram worthy looking 
fucking birthday party for their child. I'm gonna put this down because it's a bit heavy. Um, and the fact that they will, you know, do things that are for the gram or just for Facebook. Um, and how actually that shot of them in a swimsuit post baby took 28 shots to get right, and their husband had to take all 28 of those pictures. Um, and I love the fact that it deals with that as well. There, are, although there was lots of points in the book that made me laugh, there were also lots of points in the book where I was like, yes, I agree with this. Yes, yes, I was saying this out loud as I was reading it. And then there were some points in the book that were quite emotional and made me cry as well. Um, I just really, I feel like I want to know how Nell is doing now. Like, are we, are we at the point where we're kind of a year after we've met her? Can I, can I find out how she's doing? What's going on with her? Are we going to hear more from Nell? And when you're kind of left that way with a character from a book that's really stuck with you and really, you know, you, you want to know where they are now, that's always the sign of a good book for me. There are a couple of care warnings in this book. Um, there is some mention of baby loss, that's not a spoiler, um, but just if that is something that you um, don't like to read about, then perhaps give this book a miss. And then there is um, a, a bit that I found quite quite triggering to do with like a traffic accident um but what I basically did was I kind of skipped ahead like three chapters and just missed that bit out and I was fine catching up with Nell and the gang after that particular bit just because I found it very uncomfortable to read about just because of personal experiences um and so I skipped ahead and I was okay with that again not a spoiler um no spoilers on this channel but um yeah just those couple of care warnings there for you um there were also I really liked um the kind of the honesty around going on dates when you are sort of older and a lot of your friends are all settled down and married with kids and trying to sort of find somebody to date when everyone you know is settled down and married with kids um, and that was really funny and interesting. There is a very charismatic dog. Um, there are stories about not being able to find the right time to FaceTime someone when you live in a different time zone to them. Can so relate to that one. Um, and just overall, it was the book I didn't realise I needed to read, but I really did need to read this book. I really loved it. And unlike me, I really savoured it. I stretched this book out over reading it for probably two or three weeks. I would read basically 10% at a time and then come back to it. And it was actually a real treat to read it that way. So I highly, highly recommend. Obviously, the link will be in the description box, but I hope you like a final standalone book review for 2020. The book comes out in, is, is out in all formats today. I really enjoyed this one. Um, and it's possibly going to be my favourite book of December, like my final favourite book of the year. Let me know in comments um, what your kind of, if there's been a book in December that you've read that's really blown you away or if you enjoy when books feature like different alternative medias, not just traditional, we've got the internet out there um, because I really, really love it and it's something that definitely draws me into a book. So if there are any authors watching don't stay away from that love reading about people doing youtube videos and podcasts and everybody's uh, journey on the ground um but yes i will be back with more bookish content for you next week um so make sure you are subscribed so that that lands in your subscription feed and hit that notification bell because i will be back with more movie content at the weekend as well if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and i will see you uh at the weekend for those movie reviews and next week for more bookish content. Thanks for watching.